So uh, thank you very much for having me. Um, thank you especially to uh, the man in the second row there, Leo Dillon, who uh, uh, invited, introduced me to NASIS uh, several months ago. And I'm delighted to be here. So thank you to Leo and thank you to everyone else who has been uh, an organizer and all the other speakers. I'm really delighted to be here. So a little bit about me. Uh, I have a visual uh, resume. You can see I'm from Minnesota originally. and. Um, uh, have worked in a variety of industries. Uh, my current company is called Webster Pacific. It's the one in the middle here. Uh, and I also uh, have a project called the Digital Gallery, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. So I want to just give you a little bit of background on my day job before I talk to you about my uh, other interest, the Digital Gallery. So we're a strategy, data strategy consulting firm. There's 10 of us in our company. We work with a lot of tools. I don't know how to use any of them but the people who work for me do, uh, thankfully. And we solve problems like this. So, so on the left side, we're trying to help a company think about what's a good location for their business, their retail establishment in New York City. They want to be close to fashion competitors, away from mass market and away from crime. And so we help them choose neighborhoods. That's the kind of problem that we solve. So now I want to talk about inspiration because it's everything to me in what you do. And I'm in Santa Fe about a month ago, and I'm walking by this gallery. It's a meteorite and fossil gallery. I'm like, cool, but I'm busy. I'll keep going. And this is the window, and I'm about to pass by, and I look into the lower left, and I see this little thing in the lower left. And I'm like, OK, this describes what I'm trying to do with my uh, digital gallery. This is not just a gallery. This is an adventure in education. So I'm going to tell you the story of how I got here. This guy's the president of the New York Map Society. He loves maps of Spain. I bought four maps. I had them all framed. Here they are in my house. I wanted to hang them up in the common areas outside of my office, but it was filled with the building owner's art. I got more and more interested in maps of San Francisco. And then I met this guy who has this incredible map shop in North Beach in San Francisco and he's this inspiring fountain of knowledge. So we decided to host a pop-up exhibit on the cartographic history of San Francisco, and I would be the organizer, because that's what I do best, and he would be the talker. And so I went to Kinko's and had a whole bunch of maps scanned, and we had this great event. And we had like 50 maps all over our office, and people came and looked at them and enjoyed them. And I had a friend who couldn't make it, so he said, could I bring it to his office? So I did that, and then we had an even better venue, the Salesforce Tower, where we showed the same group of maps. But these pop-up exhibits were a lot of work, and I had accumulated a lot of knowledge about digitizing, and I wanted to help my friends. And so I decided to make a website to enable people to tell stories with their maps and images. Uh, this is the guy who helped me build it, and it is called the Digital Gallery. This is the home page with featured exhibits. I want to draw your attention to the second row right side there. And this is that exhibit sort of uh, this is what you see in an exhibit when you open it up. And we're going to go to one image in particular, this one here. And I'm not going to go through all this right now. I will in a couple minutes, but there's a lot of features uh, that allow you to enjoy uh, a particular map and zoom in on it. That's the most fun of all. Um, so what's special about this? Uh, so we start with high quality images. Um, it has to be, you know, it has to be uh, 15 million, uh, an iPhone is like 13 million uh, megapixels, 13 megapixels, I think. And it has to be at least that or better. Um, we tile the soft, we tile the images. So are, is anybody familiar with Open Sea Dragon? So we use Open Sea Dragon and uh, that's our engine. And then we curate. And so what is it? What is it like? Um, I described this site as kind of like Wikipedia for images kind of like ArcGIS story maps, but not scrolling down. It's a grid. Um, and more than anything, I think of it as a place for exploration and learning. It, it, um, and what can you do with it? Well, we've now loaded about 200 uh, or more exhibits on the site, each exhibit. We have 10,000 images on the site and, uh, two, and 200, uh, in 200 exhibits, every image ends up being about 100 megapixels when you tile it. Um, so you can review any of those. 
You can create your own public or private exhibit. And then this is what I'm really excited about and what I'm working on um, in the next few months is uh, allowing a group of people to collaborate on an exhibit. So to have a private space with five to 50 or 100 high-res images where you can like the exhibit or an image or a dot that's on an image. And uh, I'm going to be testing this out in January because I'm teaching a class on old maps and new maps at uh, my alma mater. So who's it for? Well, collectors, librarians, academics, authors, teachers, students. Um, let's talk a little bit about using it. So you've got to collect the images first, and we do that two ways. This is me in my garage in the studio that I set up. That's Mina and Claire. Uh, uh, and it, you know, it's a milk crate solution, but 100 megapixels is pretty darn good resolution. Um, if you want to watch a 20-second video, video sometime of us setting up, this presentation is at our website. I can show you how to get to it. David Rumsey is incredible. So the other way to get images is you'll go, you go get them from Rumsey or um, Library of Congress. I'm sure you guys know all the various uh, sites. Wikipedia is actually not bad. Um, curate. So curating is a just right exercise. That's why I have Goldilocks there. You've got to organize things. You've got to upload. You've got to annotate. It is hard. It is hard to tell a story uh, 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 ex efficiently for somebody who wants to spend 30 seconds on it or 30 minutes. Okay, so we have some, I'm going to show you these things here and then we're going to jump into the, um, the site. Um, there's something called exhibit text and that's what opens and you see that. Uh, then you've got image and, and there's an image text section and then we've got this thing called dots and this is the dot for dot number four for Plymouth Rock. And then, of course, the last thing was collaborate. We talked about that. Um, I've got some favorite exhibits. Um, the University of Colorado, Naomi, Naomi, Naomi Heiser and Eileen Raines uh, have been using this for three of their classes. I'll show you that. Uh, Ron Gibbs is president of the California Map Society, and he loves George Washington. Um, Peter Hiller, Joe Moore is a cartoon um, artist, a pictorial artist, and he's done several exhibits on our site. And then I made my own exhibit for my birthday recently. Uh, okay, so let's go to the site. And remember George Washington, that's this exhibit here. And you can see the exhibit text here. Um, and then we're going to go to this particular image. I'm going to turn on the dots. We're going to go look at the uh, Plymouth Rock. And then also uh, and all of this is, is you know, is, is, is adjustable. Um, so if we want to go back to Plymouth Rock and we want to add something in, I'm going to add something in. I'll have to take it out later. And now it should be back in there. Oh, hold on. <laughs> of course. Let's see if we can. Sometimes it takes a minute, just a second. Okay, well, that's not good. Uh, hold on, I'm going to try it again because that frustrates me. Let's try it this way, too. <laughs> okay, there we go. Hooray. Um, all right, so that's that exhibit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to sort of wade into questions here. I'm going to go through some of these other exhibits, but if people have questions, you know, raise your hand and we can kind of take it free form here. Everybody still with me? Does it have to be done? Well, they have to be. It, the the maps. Um, you have to get them from a digital source, and then we upload them. So there's a whole dashboard on the back side, where let's say you had an exhibit and you you had an idea for an exhibit and you wanted to. Uh, create an exhibit. So this is our list of exhibits and you can see there's 300 or so of them and then this is our list of 10,000 images and so you would go in here and you'd create a new image and you'd, you'd upload it. So you have to... Yes, yes. The, the, it's not native to download any images and of course all the images that I've been collecting are pre-1923 uh, to avoid copyright uh, issues. And, and the, the, the reverse is true as well. 
So no image to somebody who's a user of that image can download that image, at least not easily. And then we also have created uh, private exhibits so that you can create an exhibit, and this is what I'm gonna do with my class in, at, at, at my college, is I'm gonna create a private exhibit for 25 of us, and then we're gonna all upload and share and comment, and I kind of like, I think a teacher wants the conversation in the classroom to be private, that's what I'm visualizing that this will be as well. They can dot up an image or ask a question and have it all be private. But all those image, so then the access to that exhibit is limited to just the people that you wanted to be in it. That makes sense? Um, all right, hold on. Let's go to Colorado. So we've got, um, three exhibits for classes there. We've also got another. We, we, we um, uploaded the Library of Congress. They have this incredible panoramic, um, panora state pan states, cities from various states, uh, panoramic maps from like the late 1800s, and we have exhibits of those on the site. Uh, but let me show you one of them for their class. So this is a class that they put together, and they've got some instructions, and then I'll show you. There's some dots, and they're, and, and they did this. Naomi and Eileen built this whole thing. I, did, I, I created the exhibit for them, but then they uploaded all the images themselves. They put the dots on it. It really was their, was their creation. And again, I may not have done uh, service to it enough, but you know, the value is that these images are tiled, and so you can do this sort of thing. And that one's, you know, that's okay resolution. Um, We'll look at another one. Uh, the Art of Travel. I think there's some Rumsey maps in here. Let's see if there's some dots in there. Some of these are the same. Okay. Um, let's see, what else was I going to show you? Oh, Joe Mora. Anybody have any questions? All right. When, when some, when some, like, uh, so like the George Washington exhibit? Yeah, so, so, um, uh, Ron Gibbs did most of that curation. I helped him, I sort of showed him how to do it, um, but then he typed in all the information into that exhibit. Let's, let's go look at that for a second, because it was no small thing. Um, oh, I didn't mention this, this is kind of fun for the technical side. This is the resolution of this particular image in the lower, uh, right down here. So you can right click through each one of these images and you can see all that he's done to curate it. Hold on, I gotta show you the dots too. I, I don't know about you guys, but I, you know, every time I look at a map up close, I'm like, well, what is that? Like, what is that thing? And I, and I wanna know and I wanna hear from the person who knows about that map to, um, to tell me um, we have a collector, I'm going to go on a tangent, unless if anybody has a question, I'm going to find, um, Rich Bryman is in the California Map Society, and he's done these beautiful uh, vignette maps. Uh, okay, here we go. Now these are really, f I, I find these fascinating. Um, uh, this map is really, like, I want to, I want to know what's going on in some of these scenes here. Um, all right, I'm going to show you uh, Joe Mora Oops. in Yosemite. And so this is Peter Hiller who runs the Joe Mora uh, Museum. And so he went through these, this map and, and highlighted several parts of the map. 
Other questions? Well, look, we'd love to, if, if, if this is of interest to anyone and they want to try it out, we would love to work with you. Um, so I think that's probably it, unless if there's any other questions. Yeah. Um, well, I'm keeping it going <laughs> right now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm supporting it. And um, you're asking me, like, I mean, if you create, what's that? 20 years from now. Well, I hope I'm still around 20 years from now. <laughs> I have a son who's, who's 20, and I hope, he, uh, I hope he takes it over. Look, somebody asked me would I open source this, and I have, I've, I'm thinking about that. Um, it's, at this point, it's not a not-for-profit entity. I, you know, I would consider that, too. Um, so, I think it's a good question. I'm, I want it to be useful. I mean, what I'm really excited about is the idea of the collaboration and having people share together their learning about, you know, about imagery. Because uh, I haven't seen, I mean, you tell me, are there other tools that, that allow you to um, easily, and ease of use is super important to me for this. Are there other tools that can do sort of a really easy way to collaborate and view privately uh, an, uh, imagery. I don't know. That's what I'm. That's that's what I'm. I'm, I'm chasing is to try to help people get educated quick. Yeah. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to stop. I mean, I've got a terabyte in, in 200 and whatever, 250 exhibits right now, and it doesn't cost that much to have a terabyte up there. So, no, my intent is to just keep going. Uh, no, I have wondered, like Wikipedia, do I want to set up different areas? Or, like, how does somebody find something that's in here, right? It really is by search. But no, I don't intend to archive anything because everything is accessible sort of immediately. What, what, what problem are you, are you, you're just wondering, like, if you put something up there, is it going to go away? No, more of, um, is there a limited interaction No, no, I don't want to do that. I want it to be available, like, always. David Rumsey's uh, been a mentor to me and what he's doing. And, you know, he gives away all of, his, all of his digital imagery that's not copyright protected. Uh, what David hasn't done is as much provided a venue for curation, and that's what I think I'm, I'm doing that he hasn't done yet. So what does David get out of it? Does he, I know he sells digital He sells prints. I don't think he sells, if it's, cop, if it's copyright okay, then you can download a large image from him. And I don't, and I mean, David, David just wants to give it all away. From David. Correct. Yes, I would say. He still, on his images, he still puts in the lower left-hand corner of his images um, a little thing that says, well, it says, here, you can see it right here. It says Cartography Associates David Rumsey Collection. David doesn't care. He, he wants people to use his images. Yeah. Um, we search all the titles and I believe the exhibit descriptions. But it's not hard. I mean, I will make sure that it does. Like, if you, that you can find things. That's, that's important. Um, so, Louise Ratliff is another map librarian who did something for her family. I mean, we can test it. We can test it right now. Because I'm not recalling if I search into the description of it or into the... Per we, we, we definitely search the images. Um, 
we don't search right now the image descriptions, which I'm changing because I want people to be able to find uh, the stuff that's in the description. This is the description on the left here. Okay, thank you very much.